everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at uh, this street light and taking an overview and a run up of the lantern. This is a Philips SRS 201 street lantern. Um, this was used in the 1970s and onwards but unfortunately this kind of technology is being obsolete at the moment, being replaced with LED. Now this lantern is fairly big, um, they look quite small up high. And uh, this is the MA90 GO, so you can see it has the gear inside the head, just on the right, just there. And then we've got a 90 watt socks bulb. So this lantern comes across to around three feet six inches in length, as you can tell. I've just got a tape measure just to put that into perspective. This is a 16 watt 2D lamp, just to compare with that. And yeah, it's fairly big, as you can tell, so. That's just to put that into comparison. Now let's take a look inside of this then. Yep, so five clips, one, two, three, four, five. These two, or these three, I should say, one, two, and one at the top, they just pop off, but these ones actually hinged ones. So these ones just stay on there. So let's just give the canopy open. This is an injected molded uh, prismatic uh, canopy. So as, as you can see, it's sort of, um, I guess you could say it's kind of like a lens. It um, bends the light in a certain direction to light up the road better. And if you open it up, there's the insides of the lantern. Um, I forgot to mention actually, this lantern's brand new. So um, you don't normally find lanterns of this condition uh, like this. So yeah, now as you can see, here's the bulb, fairly big. Um, socks 90 watt. This is just a regular 90 watt socks, it's none of that P and PSG stuff, but um, it's quite hard to get out because of this um, support that's holding it. Plus, the ceramic socket is quite stiff, so I don't want to wear it out too much. This is to show how new it is because you can literally rotate these grub screws by hand, and yeah. Now let's take a closer look at the gear of the lantern. Now this is what actually drives and uh, ignites the 90 watt socks lamp. So we've got our power factor correction capacitor, which basically increases the power factor and makes it more efficient due to the inductive nature of the ballast. Then we've got the igniter right here, which sends a high voltage pulse to the discharge tube to give it a good kick. And then we've got the ballast, the inductive ballast right here, which basically limits the current through the discharge tube and uh, prevents it from basically going in a runaway effect and exploding. Um, but yeah, now as you can see, there's the spigot right here. This is what's used to mount onto um, the side arm or, uh, and the side arm bracket goes onto a column, which is usually around eight meters or taller usually these lanterns are put up, so that's why um, they are actually this big and because they look tiny if they're eight meters up in the sky. So now, as you can see, we've got four connections right here. We've got our um, uh, live out, which basically goes straight to the lantern and we've got our normal life. So this is meant to be connect. This basically goes to the photo cell. There's two neutrals. They go, one goes to the actual gear, one goes to a photo cell, and then there's basically a live out for, from the photo cell, which the photo cell is going to be bypassed when we do this test. Um, the photo cell that's on this, you can take, if we just rotate this, let's just take a look at the actual uh, canopy of it. So there's the canopy, and um, there's the Philips logo that's right there. Then we've got the photo cell socket, which is the standard NEMA socket, which basically most lanterns use. So here's the photo cell that will basically slot on there. It's a Zodium one, and this will just simply twist on that. There are other uh, NEMA photo cells available, such as a uh, radio cell, um, which is used for uh, well, different circumstances really, but that's just a standard photo cell, which will switch on when it gets to a certain lux, when it gets dark, and switch off when it gets morning. Now I think it's time to run up and switch on the lantern. There's the blue, or I guess, yeah, kind of bluish 
flare coming from it. I'm going to turn on the exposure just a little bit. We'll just let that warm up. What I will do is I will speed up the video, so uh, just a little bit, just so you can see the warm up process a bit more distinctively. Uh, on camera it appears more red, but in person it's more pink, I would say. Um, it's kind of pinkish reddish, um, but that's due to the neon and argon or penning mixture, we should say, that's currently being striked. <laughs> Okay, so now that the lantern has completely warmed up now, um, now the sodium discharge is purely taking place now. As you can tell, it's quite flickery because of how bright the light is. Uh, I cannot remember off the top of the head how many lumens the light is. I'll put um, some text now. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So uh, this light is completely monochromatic, so the colour rendering index is just zero. That will conclude it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Now, goodbye guys.